Hi guys, Matt here. All right, so I want to do a video on uh, wasp traps. There's a lot of videos all over the internet on fly traps and wasp traps and hornet traps and all these different ones, but people will use the, the term wasp kind of generically, and a lot of times they're using it for yellow jackets. Um, so I really wanted to find out what works best for wasps. The wasps we have here in Missouri, just a little bit outside St. Louis, are the dark brown to almost black big wasps, um, the big huge ones. Um, so I wanted to kind of narrow this down uh, specifically for those and show you what works best. So I got a whole line of uh, jars here. I'll bring you uh, over and show you uh, and we'll go through them. So, all right. So I have 22 different uh, types of food we're gonna do. A lot of these, or several of these, are expired, um, so I'm trying not to waste, you know, as much as I can. So, we have some old slimy carrots. We have some uh, expired cheese, a cheese stick. We have a little bit of broccoli and Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. We did that the other night. We have a banana that's all super soft on one side, getting mushy. A couple old tangerinos, I think they're called, the super small ones. Have a little bit of meat rub here. It's old and just kind of caking together. Um, it's mainly brown sugar and garlic. Have peanut butter in this one. Have a whole egg in this one. I'm just gonna shake it up and bust it in there. We have some uh, old expired yogurt. We have apple cider vinegar, strawberry preserves, uh, applesauce, honey barbecue sauce, maraschino cherries, dill pickle, some uh, venison meat, some wine, some blueberries, some uh, corn, and a popsicle. And then in these two, I have just sugar and sugar. I'm gonna add warm water, dissolve it. The reason why I did that is on these jars, I'm gonna drill a hole in the top um, that will allow them to go down in through there. Um, but on these two, I wanted to switch it up and uh, do holes on the side on this one and see how that does. And then this one has the funnel, kind of classic one you see on YouTube where they go down and they can't get up. I've tried this one before and have never had good luck uh, here with the wasps we have, but I did want to have a control one. So I will get these drilled up and we'll get them outside. I'm gonna put them on this table out on the front porch where it gets quite a bit of sun, but it's also protected. Here in Missouri, we have a lot of storms and rain and that type of stuff, and I don't want these filling up to the top with water. So I'll be back with you. Okay, so I'm gonna drill a hole in the lids for these. Uh, uh, the drill bit I'm using is uh, just right at a quarter of an inch, and then each of these foods I'm kinda uh, chop up, cut up, and add some water. <laughs> Okay, so we'll cut each of these things up uh, and put them in the jars, and then I'll take you out on the uh, front porch where we're going to be uh, setting the trap for these evil things, and we'll show you the rest. So I'm just gonna take you with me here while I chop these up. Um, so if you can think of any reason for wasps, like any purpose, uh, let me know, put it in the comments. Uh, because I can't think of anything, any reason for wasps, even like mosquitoes, you know, they're jerks too, but at least, you know, birds and bats and, you know, all those things eat mosquitoes. I don't know if birds or anything actually really eat wasps, um, because I know there's a lot of forums about how to keep wasps out of birdhouses, 
So you would think if birds preyed on wasps, then they wouldn't be in bird houses to begin with. So if you know the answer to this, let me know though, because I'm kind of curious. Because otherwise, I don't know that wasps serve any purpose whatsoever. And also, by the way, if you know anybody that hates wasps as much as I do, definitely share this video with them. Share it with them, send it to them, message them, tag them in it, whatnot. Because I hate wasps. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. My wife will tell you how much I hate wasps. If you haven't visited her page, just a little plug here while I'm chopping up wasp bait is my wife's page. She's at Fearless DIY um, is her YouTube. And then she also has a website, fearlessdiy.com. So she does a lot of interesting things on there. And the cheese, I guess we might as well chop up the cheese. Why not? We're chopping everything else up, right? And I know some people are probably going to say, oh, you're contaminating the cutting board, you know, with the different items for the different jars and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not that picky about it. I'm trying to see what they like the most. Um... Yeah, I guess I might as well chop these up too while I'm at it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not that picky about it. They're all going to be sitting fairly close together on a table out here. So the wasps will have their choice of the wasp buffet items. I also have a uh, container... Oh, no, that's a bee. Let me see if you can see these out here around the light. Eh, no, they're too small and they went too quick. Um, there's a, uh, let me make sure you're in screenshot here. Um, there's also a container out on the front porch uh, of, it has an old banana peel in it. And also has some seven dust. I'm gonna wash my hands off with this one just because it's all over the place. So anyway, so it has seven dust in it, and uh, an old banana peel and some water. The idea is if the wasps will come down and land on it, then they get it on their feet and wings and whatnot, all their parts, and then they go back and they spread it to their wasp jerk family. So I'm all for that. I really haven't seen any wasps near it though. So, and it's not indicated for wasps on the label, uh, but I've seen a lot of forums that, you know, it does work on wasps. So take that with a grain of salt, but I was hopeful. So I put it out there to see. So. I'm just going to start lining these up here. So then when I fill them with water, I'm not going to fill them all the way. I'm going to film, try and film about the same though. Um, that way we have some equal comparisons uh, for results. Equal-ish comparisons. is the old uh, meat rub it has brown sugar some garlic maybe a little bit of pepper paprika that type of stuff in there so this one's peanut butter already chopped this one's the egg making scrambled egg in there this one is the yogurt Ooh, chunky. Don't chew it. 
All right, let's put that in there. Wop. Mmm. Isn't that appetizing? I'm going to get rid of this container. apple cider vinegar. Let's just add some in here. And I think we'll do each jar maybe a third of the way. I think that sounds reasonable. Um, you know, if we have one that doesn't have enough liquid to cover the food, we might put a little bit more in there. But otherwise, we'll uh, leave it at about a third of the way. I'm just going to go ahead and put a lid on this one because I'm not going to add water to that one. Strawberry preserves. If you've never had a strawberry banana or sorry, strawberry jelly and banana sandwich. Definitely try it. It is one of the best kind of sandwiches and it sure beats the old normal peanut butter and jelly. I think that's plenty in there. What's wrong with it? I'm set these out of the way as I get them done. Ooh, this one's moldy. So I'm just gonna pour it in there instead because I'm not gonna put this back in the fridge. Has a whole bunch of blue mold in it. All right. This one is barbecue sauce, which everybody loves Sweet Baby Ray's, so these wasps better like it and be thankful as they meet their death. Anyway. Next is maraschino cherries. Um, I'm just gonna mash them up. I'm not gonna take them out and chop them because that's gonna get really, really messy. I'm just gonna kinda chop them up in the jar. And kinda squish them and mash them up. one pickle Did I mention, if you know anybody that hates wasps as much as I do, make sure and tell them, share this with them, because I'm doing a lot of work for this video. So just FYI, share it, please. All right. I think, well, I guess I ought to chop a popsicle off the popsicle stick, right? Let's see if I'm gonna do this without chopping my 
Oh, got my finger off. All right. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape around the edge on this one and clean up my mess and I'll be right back with you. So let's get our tape on this one first. Why? I don't know. This sounds good. Let's get this one on here. here all right let me bring you up close here we'll start adding water oh and there's wasps outside already i can see them jerks all right and i'm adding warm water so that it dissolves the sugar that one's done i'll add to this one And like I said, I wanted to test with this, the different types of containers, as well as the different types of foods. So that way you can be your own uh, judge. Let me get a spoon. That way you can be your own judge and see which one works best for you. Um, but like I said, these are uh, wasps in Missouri. They're the big dark ones, uh, brown to almost black. Um, these are not yellow jackets. I know what yellow jackets are and these are not them. Let's add some water to our popsicle. And I'm gonna add, like I said, each of these jars about halfway, a third to halfway. That will melt itself. So we'll add a lid on. I can pretty much identify each of these, so I'm not going to write on them. When we're done, actually I will, I'll write on them. That way, on our update video, you can look at them without having to listen to me, and you'll be able to tell which one is which. bit of water to the applesauce. A little bit of water to that yogurt. Ugh. I'm not going to fill that one up as much. Not quite as much anyway. Some of these dissolve really easily in this, some don't. Jam, it just really doesn't. You know, it's just so preserved and that type of stuff. It, you gotta mix it a little bit. All right, make sure that's the right lid. I think most of these are about the same size lids, but I can't quite remember on some of them. I'm going to fill that one to it's right at the top of the meat. Oh, wrong lid. Go. 
Actually, no, I'm not gonna label these. Too many to label, and I know what they are. So on the update video, I guess you'll have to listen to me uh, because I'll tell you which one's which. Just kidding, I'm gonna label them. <laughs> All right. Man, there's a lot of jars here. Fill on water. Be back with you. Snug down all these lids, and then we will label them, and we'll get them out on the front porch. All right, so let's get the lid on these. I'm gonna uh, move these all out on the porch, get it set up, and I'll be back with you.